Now, I've pretty much bought and sold everything you can think of um, that's worth money anyway, I should say. It's very rare for me to run into something that I've never thought of, never would have even imagined that you could have purchased, but today I did that. I bought something I've never even realized was for sale, and today what I'm bringing back home is a billboard, literally a vintage billboard. So we're gonna show it to you today. It's something I think you'll honestly be surprised about. Hey, it's Don. Today I wanted to talk about something very, very unique that we purchased today. Something that I personally had no clue at all that you could actually get. Now, I worked at a movie theater back in the day, and I used to order some of the sheets for the business. The uh, one-sheet posters and the two-sheet posters. I have some in inventory, too. But I never in my wildest dreams thought you could buy a billboard. And that's exactly what I did. I bought a billboard movie poster and it's not a new one it's a vintage one from a movie that i personally know with some very famous people in it as well now in just a minute here we're going to show it to you it's actually inside of here now one thing with billboards all it really is is a poster a massive sized poster that is assembled from multiple pieces a standard movie poster that you would see in the movie theaters is what's called a one sheet. It's usually 27 and a half by 41. Next size up is a two sheet or a double, which is 40 by 60. Now these are US sizes. In many cases, you'll run into ones in other countries that may say it's a one sheet, but it'll be a different size, like England, for example. A lot of theirs are smaller in one dimension than another uh, versus US ones. Now what I have here is what would be called an eight sheet or a 10 sheet. And again, this is literally a billboard. They had to be custom ordered from a very specific company. Not only is this a billboard, but it's from another country. So it's even harder to get than a standard one in many cases. To me personally, I like the foreign language items more so than you know, most of the US because it's something you just want to see here. If you look behind me, I have some toys on the shelves here. Some of them are from France, Japan, uh, Hong Kong, Mexico, Argentina many other places as well, Spain, England, obviously. So you're gonna run into stuff from many different countries, but to find a billboard to me was just totally out of the realm of reality, something I thought I would never get, something I thought I would never even think about, something I never even thought existed, never thought about it, never came to my mind again, and I worked at a movie theater for a while here. Now, if you stick around to the very end of the video, I'll show you something else pretty unique as well. Something you've probably never seen before also. Now one thing about billboard posters or most of the movie posters that you run into is that there aren't reproductions of most of them. Or, or if there are, it's easy to tell, especially if it's a vintage one. Nobody in their right mind is reproducing a billboard poster. These are extremely expensive to make. Now I was told this could have cost back then 500 to 1,000 bucks depending on who printed it and various other aspects and the exact size as well. So these are very, very scarce. So this is the poster. Um, to get a real good shot of it, obviously I'd need to get a uh, my ladder back out, but this is the poster itself. It's 13 feet by 10 feet tall, and it's for a movie called The Sand Pebbles. And who's in it is Steve McQueen, which is the star. That is him right there. I know the movie. I've watched it with my father. I've seen it many times. I've watched it with my youngest son as well. 
takes place in China. A lot of historical content in there. He has a BAR, which is a, a weapon. Look it up if you don't know what a BAR is. I actually designed a cosplay gun for my Star Wars Sand People figures based on the BAR he held in this movie. So it's it's been something that I've liked before. Uh, it came out in the 60s. This is an original 1960s version of the poster. And as you can see, it's in multiple pieces. This is how they were issued, literally from the printer. You will not run into a fake of something like this because the cost to make a fake, even these days, is insanely uh, high. It just wouldn't be worth the time or effort uh, to, to try and fake this. And then to find a buyer and everything else. You can easily tell the paper is correct, it's legit. It has screen service um, from France, their numbering system. It has all of the correct markings, correct paper, correct printing method in the whole works. So if you ever run into something that says eight sheet, six sheet, four sheet, two sheet on the back of it, it's chances are a movie poster. And again, this is literally from a billboard that would have sat out on the street. It would have been made to last out in the weather. They would have papered it on, probably coated it for a while. Would have probably been on display for the first month or so the movie was out. If it was a hit, it might have stayed. There's only a limited number of these that were ever pressed. This one is straight from the printers, from my understanding as well. It's something that, again, I never in my wildest dreams thought uh, I would ever run into or have the opportunity to buy. Or, again, as I said earlier, I didn't even think this was something you could get. I assumed they were outrageously expensive. I didn't spend, you know, very much for it at all. This is literally the neatest, largest, biggest poster I've ever had in my possession or even held in my entire life. It's probably the most unique, oddball item I, I think you could possibly find like this. Depending on the movie, depending on, you know, where it's from, country of origin and things along that line, value on something like this could be 500, it could be 1500, it could be $10,000. An original Star Wars goes for some buku bucks. Hopefully this opens up your eyes. Hopefully this is just showing you that there's all sorts of things that could be sold. Things you would never even imagine would carry a value or that you could find. So as you saw, that's a giant, huge poster when put together. How many of you out there have actually seen a billboard for sale before? A full-fledged billboard poster like that? That is honestly the biggest poster I have ever personally held in my entire life. If you're a poster fanatic like me, you can comment down below on what your biggest poster was. That is mine, and I don't think I'm going to be able to beat the size of that poster for a very, very, very long time. But anyway, that's what I have for you today. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Now one thing I've learned throughout the years is when you see something rare or unique right there in front of you, nab it up when you can. And as you can see, I also bought a second billboard for Mary Poppins. Now, this is an original 1960s re-release of the movie. I believe this was produced in Paris, France. It's an original again from the 60s. It's a little smaller in size. This is still considered an 8-sheet. The other one would technically be considered a 10-sheet. So when it comes to posters, these are the biggest type of movie posters you will ever find are billboards. And they are out there. You can run into them. Most countries that ran the movie would have been able to get the big billboards. They were basically the same artwork. These are authorized by Disney. This is an official 
eight sheet movie posters. Something like this could easily go for several hundred dollars. Where you going, Tony? Let's go dig a mask. Dig the dog, dig he goes with you when you explore. Just pull his leash and go for a walk. He's your dog for sure. What's your dog's name? Dig the dog, dig he goes with you when you explore. Just pull his leash and go for a walk. He's your dog for sure. Digger the dog. When you pull his string, he walks five feet from romper room.